what's up guys welcome to the channel as you can see pretty much back to walking normal there's a little soreness in my lower back but I think for the most part I'm pretty good and I am gonna get in there today and try to get the rest of that insulation hung and by hung I mean just a just the top half stapled in uh, I'm not ready to be getting on my hands and knees although I may sit in a chair and get as low as I can get it's not so much uh, I don't think it's so much as reaching down as lift you know raising my hands up so I'm I've stretched real good I'm gonna go in there and see what I can get done but kind of walking around looking for Millie if she took off last night and she ain't come back and that's very common for those kind of that breed uh, oh not used to walking she is a treeing walker hound and they were bred especially for hunting and what they use them for here is hunting deer they release a whole bunch of them i know and they flush them out and they'll run 20 miles in a day they lose a lot of weight and you just can't get that out of them the only really way i found to train a tree and walker dog is to raise them from a puppy that's if you want it that are not a very good dog to make a pet out of and i said when they showed up here uh you know i wasn't looking for dogs i did not want any more dogs i said they can stay i'll feed them i'll take care of them but i'm not putting them in a yard and those kind of dogs beagles beagles are fine now nah, they don't mind being in a yard but uh millie's breed not good not good dogs to have in a yard that's why most hunters keep them in small kennels you know because they will run and she took off into there last night and i ain't really uh not really concerned about coyotes or any of that she's smart enough she's you know she had been on her own most of her life running around before she came here you guys seen her the ones if you've watched my videos and i have no doubt she'll come back she'll wander in like nothing ever happened give me that look what so i'm just gonna walk this perimeter here just to make sure she didn't break a bone or something you know that dog at least tilly tilly sticks close to home but she you can tell she misses her these darn little asian beetles are out here getting all over you yeah she, she'll be fine she disappeared for a month on me once when i first got her well i didn't get her you know she just decided to live here so basically what she does i can't stop her i ain't no condition to go over there looking around so we'll see what happens i wouldn't worry about it she'll come back oh man i gotta walk all the way over that shed again all right guys i'll come back in a minute we'll look at you all by yourself she'll come back home she'll come back home yeah you know you know her breed you like being the homebody yeah you look like a little worm in that big old yard by yourself just a little worm what do you got to say people keep saying you need a haircut and i keep telling them your breed doesn't get haircuts nobody wants to cut your hair and you're a country dog who's this boy this boy's never had a haircut ever because they don't have none they have fur what do you got to say uh, there's no more red elephants running around here they they went extinct boy i told you there's no red elephants in america oh lily okay i'm gonna go work in the shed i'm already worn out from walking around yeah big old butt all right here's where we left off i came out here for about a half hour last night and was able to now, this is where i ended when i hurt myself 
And then last night I was able to come out here and put these pieces up. It only takes a minute or two to put a piece up. And as you can see, I only uh, stapled them halfway. Uh, I don't remember what I was doing when I got hurt. I think I was on my knees. Yeah, I can see, but I don't have enough staples in there. And I went to reach up to do something and stood up and my back went out. And so, but it isn't going to be much effort to get the rest of this up. So, this is like a magic bag. You pull one out and they puff up the same size. Now, there's only probably three or four left. There's 16 bats per bag. So, you can see I've got pretty much half of it done. So there should be plenty now these pieces down here at the bottom these are eight foot pieces i don't know what i was you know you can't really i don't think you can get them any shorter so i gotta zip off the bottoms and i'm taking them pieces and where this isn't a full fifth or you know a full 16 on center i'm stuffing them in there and then i'm gonna get some tape because i cut this when i was opening the bag i don't think it matters a whole lot but taking them little pieces you'll see there's a wall here that's you know shorter more narrow there's one there there's little short pieces there there so those pieces will not go to waste and then after this is up i got to put this foam board on the ceiling now that's probably not going to happen for a while because i ain't going to be reaching up above my head uh i may come up with some clever idea who knows but they're going to go lengthwise on these and or not, yeah lengthwise and then I'll, I'll have scraps in the shed that i can fill in for the other two feet because this is 10 feet wide and the vents i'm gonna cover them up because they don't need a vent when you got windows in here if you're turning this into a shop so i'm gonna cover those up uh normally probably what you would do is uh you know probably board this part off and let the vents do their work but you got windows man it's not that big of a building so i don't need those uh i don't know if they're sticking out too far to cover but i'll i'll, I'll figure either take them out and cover them or something but you can see there's a ledge here let me raise you up this will also be foam up here foam board there's a little ledge here and i don't i may just who knows well, we'll just worry about but the reason i want the ceiling up first is because then i don't have to deal with those uh joists and i can just cut it cut it it's going to be a custom cut but we'll see what i get with it that's kind of an oddball situation there the way that is but it won't be too hard all right let me uh i gotta sit down for a while because i walked all over kingdom come now I gotta sit down and rest. I was ready to go. Now I'm sore. All right, but I'm fine. I've I know when I'm ready to start working again, but it ain't gonna be the kind of work I normally do. And right, I'll come back when I start on this. All right, I think I added three to this wall. We got all of that on except for that little cubby holder in the corner. And uh, I'm just hanging maybe one or two pieces, sitting down for a minute. I want to get it all up. And uh, I've just been sitting here looking at how good of a job they did, uh, how quality of a build they did on this building. I mean, there's your OSB up there. Uh, then you got the, I don't know what you call it, the wrap that goes on it. And then they put the metal on. You'll get some of them. They don't even put the OSB. They just put the metal straight on two by four uh, studs there. But this is really well made. And they use good, good lumber. It's very, you know, they got the double studs all over. Look at this. So I made a wise choice going with this one. And man, so quiet in here already. But that's what insulation does. It says right there. Thermal and sound control. See? All right. And guys, I am not, <coughs> I did not post injury videos to get anybody's sympathy. You guys have always known that I've had bad back and all that. It's bound to happen. But I got other obligations like, like this right here that needs to get out, reviews done. So I got to get this done. 
and and actually the best therapy for me is the work and when i bought this place i was on a cane just like i am now and i just started working and over the years you know i just got you got to keep working or you are going to be in a nursing home oh what's in my eye it ain't this stuff this stuff doesn't fly or nothing and uh so that's all it is and you know then if you don't tell people that you're injured you're gonna well, why ain't you putting any videos out you got all that insulation why ain't you putting it up so it's better just to tell you yeah i hurt myself you guys even got to see me leaving here to the house so but we're gonna work chip away at this a little bit at a time hey if i don't get it all up today i don't get it all up wished i hadn't put all this crap in here because it's in my way but no problem once i get that up i'll move it back over to the wall uh i think i come up with an idea how i can finish it i'm gonna rig up a big sharp knife on a stick and i'm gonna get my square and i'm gonna poke that down and take that knife with the stick and slice it across that way i don't have to get on my hands and knees i'll come up with something oops excuse me all right let me get back at it I got what's her name in here playing me music there she is i won't say her name because it'll set all yours off come here mr installation oh hello just wanted to show you it's really me doing the work grandma Tell me about the good old days. Dang, I can sing. That sounds just like them. What are you barking at, Rooster? You put off that away. See? You got to be in control of the installation. Come here, you. Get in my pocket. How about you? No, I don't want to reach up there. All right. I take the piece of insulation, neatly tuck it in there. Say, neatly. And I lift up as to get it all the way to the top. Ooh, I felt a twinge, but I'm good. I get it even with the other one. Slowly raise my arms. Slap it in. And again. I've been in a couple across the top. These are the ones that scare me. <laughs> Alright. Do a little twisty twisty stretch. And this has a double here, so it's a little a little taut. The palm pushes and pulls downward. I see in the it's not overlapping because there's a double stud there I forget what you call them slowly bend and tuck bend and tuck probably use way more staples than I need to but I like it staples are cheap What's funny is I ordered a air staple gun, and that'll be here tomorrow, but I'll be done probably. But that's a handy tool to have, and I think I already own one, but I forgot. And that's as far as I'm going. Now I'm gonna sit down, put up two pieces, I'm gonna sit down, that way we can pace myself. Wow, is it quiet in here. Except for you, Squeaky Squeakerson. I had to shut it for a while. It was driving me nuts, but it's getting warm. I don't know why it's getting warm, but it's getting warm. It was cool when I came in here, but now it's warm. There's a lot of sheets in there, man. 
there's more than enough to do this whole joint all right that whole wall is done except for the end one which is narrow those will be stuffed with those pieces now i start on i'll skip that one do that one that one that one that one that one that one and then the full ones here and then the rest will all get the pieces and we're about done and this front wall but i've been having to shuffle all this crap around but once once everything's in it won't be a problem show it all to one corner and we're good i didn't want to throw out that mattress that's way too nice of a mattress so i've got it in here hey spare bedroom you know all right i'm gonna sit down for a while it's still tough i'm telling you but i got the cane there this time uh, oh yeah yeah it's it is getting warm uh, that should take me maybe i don't know three hours to do that wall. <laughs> but guys i wanted to say this before somebody put it in the comments i wanted to steal your glory you know if you want to know what a half ass job is this is it right here because i only did half it ain't done down there this is your true definition of a half ass job and i'm glad i'm the one that can bring it to you king of the half ass jobs okay go away now you can go away now all right i am rolling right along here's what we got that whole back wall is done that wall's done those pieces will be filled in with the cutoffs <coughs> now this is the weird wall there's very few that that could take a full strip and that could take a full strip and the rest are all going to be filled in with all these pieces which there will be plenty of so basically all i've got left to do for today is that one and that one and we're gonna call this good for a day feeling pretty good about it that wall looks good i i try to get that stuff neat looking and and tight and you know the same height across so i do use a little more staples but in the end if you decide to put sheetrock or whatever you know you don't got no garbled up mess there uh one thing I really need to consider right now is if I I may drill some holes through the bottoms of these studs uh, for future at least one outlet maybe uh, that way if I have to I can just run an extension cord or whatever uh, but like I say I'm gonna run it with all those power banks that I got and they have solar panels so that should be good i just don't know yet if it's going to power that which it should power that no problem that is a laser machine i don't i've never dealt with them so i don't know so probably gonna get these two in and tidy up a bit nah hell with that we'll leave it a mess and call it good man and i am still debating on this stuff now i'm starting to think i may chop these completely in half and stick them up in there and I you can't drill anything through the roof but what I could do is get the piece tightly fitted and then just take a couple of nails tack them in hope hold that up they're not going anywhere and because it, then I have probably all right guys sorry about that the battery went dead I'd go in the house and get another one but what I was saying is if I put them up there I can just take some nails and tack in there to hold it in it ain't going nowhere because if I put it down here, this brings the ceiling another inch lower, which back in this corner, you know, may not be much of a big deal, but uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It would certainly be easy just to leave them, easier to leave them all as one piece, string them across, but I don't know. But I'm not, uh, I'm not to that point yet, so we'll worry about that. All right. Now I've got several strips of this left, so I might as well try to... I can put one in there, put one in there. So I could put four more of these up because I'm not gonna need any more. So might as well fill in these more narrow spaces with it. These are too narrow here. Uh, I don't wanna have to get on my hands and knees and cut it long lengthwise. So 
we'll see what we can put in there and then, then I'm going to call it a day. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to do something better than sitting on my boom. Yep, my light ain't too great. It always looks bad on the camera, and then when I get it on the editor, you can see it. I don't know. This crap's in my way again. Alright. Scoot you down. You're good there. Ah! Right, where's my staple over? There you are. Kiki. Got to kick it out. See? Well, that's wider. What do they do? Get lazy here and just... Oh, I had so much confidence in you guys. That's too much. Well, I'll just split it, I guess. I don't know. Where's my stapler bag gum? Get one in there. This ain't easy either with carpal tunnel. Squeezing this, that's why I ordered the uh, the uh, air powered one. No, oh, this isn't gonna. I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah. This must have been the last one of the day. I don't know. Now, ah, see. I'm going to put another 2 by 4 in there, I guess. Let's just let that one hang. I hope that one ain't that same way. Wait a minute. Yeah. We'll stitch it over like that. Those ladybug things. I hope... Them dogs are chasing something. Hopefully it's Millie coming home. They ain't no match for her. Alright. They give you a little extra lift there if you need it. And I need it. Everybody needs a little extra lift. I can do that here too, but we got enough to get it in there. What I'm saying is, this is not 16 on center, it's wider. But it'll still work. This is a shop, man. This ain't no living space. So if it's a little drafty here and there, whatever. I don't think it's going to be. Okay, I can squeeze one in the corner there. So I went through all my shirts and pants the other day. And, man, I had shirts I've had 15 years. They're in that bag. The ones that don't fit anymore are the ones I've had forever. But no, I didn't throw them out because you know what I said? Well, I can use them for rags. So now I'm going to be kicking around this bag. No, I'm probably not. I'm going to probably throw it in a burn pile. Oh, I didn't live through the depression. Why am I afraid to throw stuff out? Oh, this crap. Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and call it good. That's way too fat for that one. That's going to have to wait till I can cut it. That ain't today. So we got we got a good part of it done. Yep, half-assed job. And uh, I'm going to probably come out tomorrow and try to try to get the bottoms. If I feel like it, if I don't, I won't. I right, need to turn this dude off. Oh, wrong button. These are handy. Well, I... You weren't supposed to come back on. Alright, that should go off on its own. Alright. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm trying to get it done. 
and doing the best I can, but I, I feel pretty good about what I got done today. So tune in at a day or two, maybe it might be tomorrow. We'll see what else gets done. Happy trails.